Hi guys, uh, welcome back. We're going to now graph linear equations by looking at the rule. Just referring back to the previous video where we have tables here. The x-intercept is found when y equals 0. And the y-intercept is found when x equals 0. Okay, so those are two things that I wanted to just refresh your memories before we actually move on. Okay, so your the rule or formula of a linear equation is going to be in the format of y equals mx plus or minus c. Okay, and m is going to be the letter that represents the gradient or the steepness of the slope. What you'll find here also this letter C I'm going to let you know that the letter C represents also the y-intercept. So remember this was my shorthand for y-intercept. M is your gradient and this is your rule for a linear equation. Okay, so let's put this into practice and I'll show you ways how you can find both the x and y intercept and then join the dots to graph the linear equation. Okay, here we have first example of 2x plus 3y equals 6 and here's another one that is y equals 2x minus 6. I'm going to start with this bottom one because it actually flows with the format of your rule. So y does equal something x plus or minus a certain number. And here we have 2 as your gradient and minus 6 as your y-intercept. But I'm going to write down on this side, just as a reminder, that the y-intercept is found when x equals 0 and the x-intercept is found when y equals 0. So simply what you need to do is substitute the values of x for 0 to find what the y-intercept is and alternatively to find what the x-intercept is you want to substitute y for 0 in your equation. Okay, So here's the first step we're going to work out what the y-intercept is. We're going to substitute x for 0 in this equation. Okay, So y equals 2 times 0 because we're making x equals 0 minus 6. We know that 2 times 0 is just 0, so y equals minus 6. Notice that this is all that's left. It eliminates this middle component. Minus 6 is going to be your y-intercept. So I can confidently say that at minus 6 here is where this equation cuts across the y-axis. Okay. Second step is we're going to find what the x-intercept is and we're going to substitute y for 0. So instead of y we're going to make that 0 equals 2x minus 6. We're going to solve for x by adding 6 to both sides And then we're going to divide both sides by 2. So x will equal 3. So when y equals 0, x equals 3. x equals 3 is over here. So that's going to be my x-intercept. And all I need to do now is join those two points. 
like so. So graphing a linear equation through the intercept method is as simple as that. You just need to find the two uh, intercepts for x and y axes and join those two dots uh, and it should be fine. Okay, we're going to move on to this top one here and what you'll notice that is this format of the equation does not fit uh, the rule and we need to rearrange this bef uh, to make it fit this pattern before we can actually move forward. So let's do that. We want to isolate for y. So have y on its own and rearrange everything. What I'm going to do is subtract 2x from both sides. So I will have 3y equals minus 2x plus 6. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So I will have y equals minus 2 over 3x and then 6 divided by 3 is 2. So what I have here now is a rule that actually fits this format where m the gradient is negative 2 thirds and the y-intercept is positive 2. So let's put that into practice. First step is to work out the y-intercept and I'm going to substitute x for 0. So y equals minus 2 over 3 times 0 plus 2. Know that this will cancel out automatically so y equals positive 2. So my y-intercept is going to be at positive 2 over here. Next step is to find the x-intercept and I'm going to substitute y for 0. Okay, so here using this formula y is going to equal 0 now. That will equal minus 2 over 3x plus 2. Okay, now that I've, uh, I'm almost running out of space but hopefully we can work this out. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So I have minus 2 equals minus 2 over 3x. Okay, the next thing that I want to do, and what I'll do, and this is not very good for this video, I'm going to continue down here. So, so far I have minus 2 equals minus 2 over 3x. I'm going to then divide both sides by minus 2 over 3. Okay, what you can do is multiply by 3 first, which is 6, minus 6, and then minus 6 divided by minus 2 is going to be minus, uh, just positive 3. So x equals 3. Okay, so x is going, x equals 3, that is going to be my x-intercept. Ooh, it matches up with the other line. So there's my two points, and I'm going to join those dots together. Okay, so there's my graph for this top equation, and this graph is for this equation here. Work out what your y-intercept is, work out what your x-intercept is, and join the two dots together, and you've got your graph. See you guys later.